Uh, let's see. Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn. Uh, this build here. Now, I've been higher high on the build of Braun Breaker since he uh since he lost at Money in the Bank. No, was it Money in the Bank? I think it was Money in the Bank, yeah. Since his loss, um, I thought they were um they kind of recalculated and figured out figured out like, okay, this is this wasn't exactly working how we wanted it to. And then when they recalculated, they had him basically cutting promos and then just being a killing machine. And that's what you need to do with Braun Breaker. And um they kind of took a step back, I feel like, tonight. However, I think there's a reason for that. And it's, you know, it's just because they kind of can't help themselves. But um, I did notice something. Why does Sami Zayn, like, whenever he's, like, whenever they're they're setting up for him to cut a promo and they're like, hey, I'm back here with Sami Zayn. He's getting ready for his match against uh, so-and-so. I guess, who did he fight tonight? I forgot. Was it Dom? I think it was Dom. Um... But yeah, basically, yeah, we're good. The whole time, Sami Zayn is basically in the background, like fucking pacing, and he's like sitting there, like he's like calculating shit in his head, and he's like, so he's talking like he's in a rush. He has the temperament of Doc Brown. Like we we haven't got the time. We have to get to the ring, Marty. It's like, like why is he always in a rush and always? It's like calm the fuck down, Jesus Christ. Um, but where they, I think, I think they fucked up in this is the end of the match where Braun Breaker runs in, um, and, you know, tries to get one over on Sammy again. And Sammy basically catches him while he's going for a, a, a spear. Sammy catches him with a haluva kick and Braun Breaker, uh, basically falls to the ground and fucking, um, and I, and it was all right because it was his own momentum that made it worse. So that's that's okay. I don't mind that. But the fact is that Braun, after that, ran in fear. He retreated out of fear of Sami Zayn. And then he tried to run in again and then failed again and then retreated again out of fear. And that's the thing where I think that was that was kind of that wasn't a good look. Um, and again, for somebody like Braun Breaker, who we're trying to book this guy as a monster, because let's be real, he is. That's a bad look. You don't have him run in fear, and you don't have him come and do it again and then run in fear again. It's stupid. It's stupid. But I think they did that because they want to have Sammy there. There's this sort of element of, you know, suspension of disbelief. Hey, maybe Sammy has a chance. Look what he did right before, right before SummerSlam. But usually when somebody gets over the 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 night before the show before SummerSlam, that means they're probably going to lose at SummerSlam. And I believe I still stick by my prediction that um, it's a prediction and a hope that Braun Breaker actually squashes Sami Zayn at SummerSlam. I think it should be one of those bell rings he does his back and forth thing and between the ropes and spears the shit out of Sami Zayn. one two three that's it it's over have have one of those fucking less than 30 second matches i'm fine with it i don't need a long and they don't do this anymore i guess but i don't need a long 15 minute drawn out competitive match between these two um but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's where I think that's going. I'll be honest, I tapped out of the show when uh, Dom and during the Dom and hold on, I have this. That's where I tapped out when Dom and Sami Zayn were making their entrances. I just kind of skipped through the match and then, you know. It was one of those Raws that I was actually happy when I saw a woman's match come on because I knew I could skip through a portion of the show. I knew it was like, oh, yes, I could skip through like the next 25 minutes. That shaves off a lot of time. So that's how I felt about, about this, you know, this Raw more or less. Uh, 
I guess I wouldn't be so hard on it if it wasn't a go home show. I thought it should have been much better for a go home. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where 